Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women implement simple tips and proven strategies into their life so they can create the relationship that they want, need, and desire. This week we have been discussing introvert versus extrovert relationships. The very first video that I talked about was just some things versus the two. And then the second video that I released was what introverts want extroverts to understand and know about them. Today's video is speaking about what extroverts want introverts to know about them. We're going to talk about it right after this. All right, fam. Thanks so much for coming back. So the 15 things that extroverts want introverts to know about them. Let's jump in. So the first thing I want you introverts to understand about us extroverts is that we don't understand subsidies. What we understand is a clear message. So instead of giving us subtle hints about things, just tell us outright what it is that you are trying to communicate to us. Because I don't understand when you're trying to just give me subtle hints. The second thing is just to understand and know that we like to overshare because we like to talk. <laughs> Especially if you get us in the moment of that day where we just feel like, blah. My husband definitely <laughs> can, can attest to this one right here because he sits there like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and then he'll be like, you done? <laughs> and I'm like, why you got something to do? So uh, it, it's just funny. It's just sort of like a joke in our relationship right now. But he definitely listens. I thank him for letting me dump on him all of whatever it is I needed to say in the moment. And we move on with life. But we like to overshare because we like to talk. We need that human interaction. Us extroverts. We need that. Number three. The opposite of an introvert, we actually love to be around people. That's actually where we get our energy from. We love to be in the company of others, just laugh and joke and experience and all of this energy around us, sometimes even being the center of attention. We just love all of that. Now, obviously, there are exceptions to the rule, right? But by and large, in general, extroverts are Number four, quiet as it's kept. Guess what? We extroverts actually enjoy me time too. We enjoy our long time just as much as you do. We just don't like to do it as often as you like to do it. That's the only difference. We enjoy me time or a long time just as much as you do. Our time frames are shortened a lot more frequent than yours is. Number five, guess what? We can be shy too. Every extrovert is not an overt outwardly put the spotlight on me type of person. I can have my shy moments too. Like when somebody is giving me accolades or praising me for something, especially in a crowd of people and everybody's turning around, all eyes are on me. Right. I'm learning how to gracefully be in the spotlight. But if I, if it's if it's not me choosing to be in the spotlight, i.e. me being a speaker for the day or i.e. me speaking to a group of clients or just speaking with my friends or whatever it is like I'm choosing to have the spotlight on me. But if somebody is giving me recognition, oh, let's stand up and give Marshawn X. My, like, give me some notice. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is give me some notice. <laughs> Number six, extroverts are not always flirting. At least, let me just explain this one for me specifically. I'm a, I'm a in, your, in your space type of person, although I do ask for permission to be in your space. Not 100%, but it really depends on our vibe. If I'm not feeling that we are 100% vibe and I'll ask you if I could come into your space because I'm a hugger. But like if I'm in your face and I'm really like honing in, I'm locked in eye contact. I'm really listening to what you're saying. I'm not like looking here, there. I, I'm here. Sometimes, especially with the men, <laughs> they think that that's an invitation that I want them to ask me for their number. I mean, for my number or, you know, whatever the invitation is. That is not necessarily always the case. It's just, I find you interesting. We can talk in the moment and then I can move on with my life. You know, maybe we'll connect later on in some form or fashion, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm flir flirting with you. And so if you are in a relationship with an ex extrovert and they have this big personality and you find that lots of people latch on to them, 
doesn't mean that they're always flirting. Because a lot of times I've actually been taken off guard. A lot of people like to be around me and in my space. And, and I meet friends very easily. Like, easily. <laughs> I've even had friends of friends to attach on to me. And then somehow that mutual friend is somehow pushed out of the way. They're gone. And then they're my friend. I've had that happen multiple times. And not that I'm trying to take over anybody's, you know, friendship. It's just... That's my personality. People are drawn to me, and I know that about me. So I'm not always flirting. Number seven. I wrote this one down. It actually does not apply to me, but it is that I guess a lot of extroverts are not planners. That one absolutely does not apply to me because I'm total planner. Like, you can't just call me the date of and say, hey, can you go X, Y, and Z? Even before I was married and had my daughter... I don't like last minute stuff like I need to know I need to plan because I like to plan my day if I want to just hang out and do nothing literally nothing as in don't answer the phone I don't want to talk to nobody I want to sit around Netflix and chill by myself all day that's what I want to do maybe I don't feel like getting out of my pajamas like for real let's keep it all the way real here at I love me 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 because I love me I like spending time with me so um <laughs> I need some notice I'm not one of those people that you can just drop by my house <laughs> no I need some notice. <laughs> like, so I am absolutely a planner. Again, I know that all of these are not going to apply to anybody, everybody anyway. But for me, this one totally does not apply personally for me. So, like I said, I guess most extroverts are not planners. I'm a total planner. Like, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to show y'all some evidence. Like, this is this is my planner of all the stuff that I just... Been, oh, it's not showing well on here. Anyway, my planner be full and I be knocking off stuff. So, I, I need to know what's going on. My life is planned. My life is purposeful. I'm busy on purpose. Introverts, know that when your extrovert is talking out loud, they're not necessarily talking to you. They think, we think out loud sometimes. And it's not that I'm looking for an answer. That's how I think. You keep it all up in here. I verbalize. Number nine. Most introverts need stimulation. As in from the other partner. Otherwise they feel bored. Again. This might not apply to you. Because it actually does not apply to me. Most of the time. Sometimes it does apply. Because like I said. I want to talk to my introverted husband. Sometimes he ain't in the mood. And then when I'm not in the mood to talk. Then he want to talk. So sometimes our introvert extrovert just don't align. However, comma, <laughs> we need mental. St we need to be stimulated. Otherwise, we do get bored. And so when I know that my husband is in his introvert introverted mood, I go off and do my own thing. Cause like I said, I'm already purposefully busy anyway so when he's not in the mood i go off and do my thing so i am stimulated all the diggity dog on time literally from the time that i wake up to the time that i lay my head on my pillow i am stimulated number 10 extroverts know the value of a great deep intellectual conversation as well we like them we don't have to have them as often as you have to have them but we love them when we have them too, because we like to talk about our passions and bring up all of our things that we are interested in knowing about. Or I want you to tell me some things to help me grow, mentally grow, because I don't know everything. Maybe you're sh sharing and showcasing something that you know that you're passionate about so I can pick up on it too. So we love great, deep intellectual conversations just as much as you do, just maybe not as often. Number 11, introverts know this about extroverts. Most extroverts are the happiest people. Yeah, we happy all the doggone time. And I know, again, all the time, right, can't say all because that is a fallacy. However, comma, most of the time we happy. Because me personally, life is just too short to let one thing ruin my entire day. Again, Happiness is a choice. I have a video about happiness is a choice. Y'all know that I do. And if you have been a new subscriber or just finding my channel, I'm going to definitely link that. Happiness is a choice because it absolutely is a choice. No matter what. And I explain it more in that video, so I won't do it here. Okay? But just know happiness is a choice. Number 12. 
understand that the pauses that you have in your conversation and the pauses that we have in our conversation, as in the extroverts, are not taken the same or not are not held in the same weight. Meaning when you pause, introverts, you are thinking about something. When I pause, it's because maybe I lost my train of thought. I could be thinking about something, but nine times out of ten, I want the conversation to keep rolling, 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 rolling. So the pauses that I take might mean something different than the pauses that you are taking. Number 13, quiet as it's kept. Yes, we like to talk. We like to be in the spotlight. We like all eyes on us. But guess what? Sometimes we don't want to talk either. I mentioned that before, but I'm making it a point to make it a point here. Point number 13, we don't always want to talk either. Sometimes we have those days where we need to reflect just like you. And I just want to shut up because I got so much noise all around me all day long from coworkers. And I work around um, patients and nurses and doctors and people are coming in and asking questions all day long. And then I'm talking to clients and building the business. Sometimes I just want to shut up too. Not to mention a two-year-old toddler that's all over the place. So sometimes I don't want to talk either. Number 14, let me expound on it right here. I talked about the intellectual conversations. Again, we have deep intellectual thoughts as well. And number 15, just please be patient with your extrovert. Be, pa be patient with us because <laughs> we might not be having an intellectual moment. Or we might want you to hurry up and do something because that's the way that we're used to doing something. Or speak a little faster. Be more clear. Just be patient with us. We're going to be patient with you, so be patient with us. So now, fam, these are the 15 things that extroverts want introverts to know. If you are an introvert, I definitely want to hear your opinion down in the comment section below. Are you in a relationship with, have you ever dated an extrovert? How did that go? Are you guys in a, again, are you guys in a relationship? Are you engaged? Are you married? Did you have to just move away from that relationship because it didn't work out for you? What actually happen please leave a comment down in the comment section below and if you are just finding this video because you are an introvert trying to learn about extroverts then definitely go ahead and watch the list where i have the extroverts and what your introverts want us to know as far as extroverts and the versus video introvert versus extroverts video so definitely go ahead and check out those videos i will see you guys in the next video deuces